You know, a startup goes through uh, multiple what I call inflection points. Uh, I ran a startup myself from start to finish. And one could easily kind of look at a startup's journey um, from the perspective of uh, various decision-making points. Um, these decision-making points can be broadly categorized into two parts. Um, one is more of a technology uh, perspective, a technology roadmap, and the other is a go-to-market or a market-facing roadmap. If you look at it from a technology perspective, um, what a startup needs to do is to um, define which enterprise software does it want to integrate with? Which enterprise software is it really after? Are they more in the financial services industry? Are they more in the retail industry? You know, do they want to go after the human resources market? Do they want to go after the manufacturing market? Um, so there are various different considerations that they need to do. Um, so as a startup looks to define its technology roadmap, um, what is happening is that it's becoming very difficult for a startup to do all these things on their own and to really define a net new technology roadmap on their own. Um, there are a few, uh, you know, you look at Facebook, you look at Google, you know, Uber and others who have defined a completely new industry. Uh, but the bulk of the startups, what they want to do is they want to play within a defined ecosystem. So, you know, it can be an SAP driven ecosystem, it could be, you know, other enterprise software driven ecosystem. And so, from a technology perspective, what the startup needs to realize and understand is, um, how do I become part of an SAP ecosystem and then align with SAP's technology strategy in order to grow my business? Rather than reinvent the wheel, um, I would almost always align. There is a market defined, there is a large customer base defined, there is proven technology. Uh, uh, so how do, I, how do I, in my area, kind of align with SAP on the, te the technology aspect? And similarly, you know, uh, with other enterprise uh, companies out there. There's the other factor, which is more of a uh, market reach factor. You know, so if I put myself in the, in the shoes of a startup, um, one of the things I cannot afford to do much is to deploy a very large direct sales force, right? I mean, I cannot hire tens and you know, hundreds of salespeople. Uh, they're expensive, first of all. Secondly, um, these sales cycles are very long. So you, can't, you do, don't know the result, neither is the first penny coming into the door till at least nine months to a year has passed by. Um, so rather than that, um, an alternative and a more effective strategy is for the startup to do marketing on their own, but establish a go-to-market channel which is part of a larger uh, ecosystem. And so, for example, um, all the startups who have engaged with us um, they not only get uh, free resources, free technology, but we actually take them to our customers. Um, and so if you look at it from a startup's perspective, that kind of a reach, that kind of a value proposition to approach these large enterprises um, and to have the ability to present their solution, uh, that kind of a reach, they will never be able to do it on their own. It will be extremely difficult, cost a lot of money and time for them to do it on their own. Um, so I think uh, the startup has to realize at what point they are ready to make these decisions, both from a technology perspective as well as from a go-to-market perspective, um, and accordingly align with the right large software manufacturer with whom they see a long-term potential. Um, so, that's, so that's what I would recommend uh, for the startup. Now, as to what is the right time to do it, I, don't, I mean, that, that depends on the startup. Um, sometimes it could be too early in their life cycle. Sometimes it uh, could be after they have built the product, um, but just before they are kind of hitting the market. Sometimes it would be before they've got venture capital because their, their, their planning is still not fully baked. 
Sometimes it is right after they have taken venture capital because that's the time they want to take the product and hit the market. Um, but I would, I would, you know, again summarize it as, is it as uh, these are the two different modalities that they need to think on. One is uh, how do I align my technology uh, future and how do I align my uh, market reach and my go-to-market future.